66 million, 43,000 years ago. The bolide hurtling towards Earth was larger than Mount Everest at 6.2 miles across and moving at 12 miles per second. It struck the Gulf of Mexico with a force of 100 teratons of TNT, a billion times the power of the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. It would have created mega tsunamis over 100 meters high and a blast front moving at 620 miles per hour. To the dinosaurs in Hell Creek, 1,900 miles away, they would have seen a flash over the horizon and that was it. The the sound would never reach them, but other waves would. Primary earthquake waves travelling through the earth at 3 miles a second would hit the area 6 minutes after the flash, the effects of a magnitude 10 to 11.5 earthquake. These seismic waves would agitate the river flowing through Tanis, creating seiches. 10 to 11 metre floodwaters would have crashed through the area. As these seiches raged, the ejector material from the impact began to fall. As they descended, they heated up the atmosphere and landed like embers throughout the forest, creating massive wildfires. Within the first 10 minutes, many animals will be dead. 18 to 26 hours later, the mega tsunamis would have arrived, washing over huge swaths of North America. Within a few weeks, the sulphur blasted into the stratosphere would have cloaked the planet, reducing sunlight by 50% for two years, and creating freezing temperatures for up to three years. It may have taken up to a decade for the skies to return to normal, but there was no going back for the planet. Any animal of large size that required large amounts of food to sustain themselves would not have survived. Analysis shows that only animals weighing less than 25 kilograms, or detritus feeders, made it through. If the bolide hit the deep ocean, much of the force would have been absorbed by the water. If it had struck somewhere other than the Gulf of Mexico and its gypsum deposits, the darkness would not have lasted so long and been so complete. And if non-avian dinosaur diversity wasn't low, some small-bodied non-avian dinosaurs might have been able to survive.